If I was a businessman, I would choose Roman Reigns to be on my show. I would choose Roman Reigns to be on my streaming platform. Hello everyone, my name is Anonymous something. Join the Hood Gang Network today, it only costs $2.99. If you don't want to join though, that's fine. Super stickers, super thanks, down below, you know the drill, it helps the channel either way. Now on with the video topic. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief motherfuckers, the head of the table. So here's what Netflix said, there are rumors that Netflix has demanded Roman Reigns for Raw. The report states if Roman Reigns show up on Raw, he'll likely win the World Heavyweight Championship. Now what do you guys think? Think about it, Roman Reigns holding the World Heavyweight title, I mean, it fits, it fits him, right? Like, it fits the Tribal Chief. Imagine Roman Reigns with a big gold title that could work! It looks cool! It actually fits Roman Reigns. It, it actually fits the guy, alright? But here's the thing, Solo, Sikoa, and the rest of the Bloodline is on SmackDown or whatever the fuck they call it, so... What the fuck are they gonna do now? You know, the Bloodline is separated, Solo, Sikoa's on SmackDown, Roman Reigns is on Raw, so how will they make this work? Netflix wants Roman Reigns! And I understand, they want the big dog, they want as much viewers as possible. Netflix wants the biggest star in modern wrestling, alright? Not the biggest star in the entire WWE, but in modern wrestling. Netflix wants Roman Reigns, and rightfully so. If I was a fucking, like, streaming platform owner, I would want as much people to watch my product, my streaming service, as much as possible. And when I look at the WWE roster, and I look at, you know, the people who can draw the most, when I see Roman Reigns drawing the most viewers, if I were in the shoes of Netflix, if I was a businessman, I would choose Roman Reigns to be on my show. I would choose Roman Reigns to be on my streaming platform. That's just business, motherfuckers. I know you all want fucking Cody Rhodes. Oh, Cody Rhodes, he's the best. He might be a great wrestler. His storyline during the Finish the Story era was cool. But in terms of drawing the fucking casual audience, as much viewers to the product as possible. No, Cody Rhodes sucks. But if I were a businessman, I would choose Roman Reigns, motherfucker. Yeah, business mindset. This is a business. They want to make money. WWE wants to make money. Netflix wants to make money. So it only makes sense that they would want Roman Reigns to be part of Netflix WWE. Just Raw? Is Raw going to be on Netflix and only Raw? I thought the entire WWE... Eh, who gives a shit? So apparently only Raw is gonna be on Netflix. Wow! That's cool! What about the rest of the WWE? What the fuck? It's confusing! Why not just have the entirety of WWE be on Netflix? What's stopping them, motherfuckers? What the fuck? I don't get this shit! Anyway, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Netflix wants Roman Reigns and they want Roman Reigns to hold the world heavyweight championship at Raw or who knows they're probably gonna do a fucking draft and you know the new bloodline with Solo Sokoa is gonna move to Raw so they can do this bloodline storyline to garner in more ratings they're probably gonna do that they're gonna do a fucking superstar shakeup or a draft I think that's what they're gonna do anyway that's all my name is Anonymous something and I'll see you all in the next video Join the Hood Gang Network today, 2 dollars motherfuckers. My name is Anonymous something and I'll see you all in the next video. I approve this fucking message and AS ROOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO